Hi everyone, this is Rocky. So in this video, I'm going to show our newest video controller, VPX 500. So right now we start from the uh, country PC, and then over here we got source up to the VPX 500. So this is actually the VPX 500. Uh, this is from the panel. On the front panel, you can see right now we have the uh, red key here, and also off and on button here, and the LCD screen to show like the information here and the uh, set section function and the input selection area and also the reset action area so for the operation and we can set, uh, do the introduction later and then we go back to the real panel so on the real panel right now you can see here we got the um, power supply from here and then we got the country port we can use the line country we also can use the uh, r32 and over here you can see right now we have the it's going to be the uh input and output so this unit can support eight dvi inputs and 12 dvi outputs so right now we have two source input to the uh, input port one and port two so for the input one right now we are we have the source is actually coming from the PC here and for the input 2 we actually come from this player here so this is actually the overview of this unit then we back to the um, controlling on the front panel we can use the buttons to control so here we got a knob here so we can just like roll it then we can see like we can have different function here like the first one is actually splicing so for the splicing is actually have some shortcut for the uh, video setting you can do like 3 by 3 or 3 by 4 so right now we actually have a 3 by 4 here so we just use this one then we we'll just press ok And also we can just set up accordingly. So we also can do can do the setting from here. And plus we also can do like the plot map. If we got like a, um, like this one is actually the input eight input seven. But we uh, we right now we have the. Uh, the 8 display connect to the port 7 so we can do the setting from here to adjust it so we're back to check out and we also have like the layout for the layout menu you can see here right now we have different layouts so we can do the shortcut here and uh, we also have like the scanner on the scanner function you can see we have we can set up like the uh, position or the horizontal or vertical size and also we can save the mode and load the mode for more function we can set up like the language resolution or other functions like the function button we have like brightness adjustment or color adjustment output status effects Time VGA, IP setup, zoom, and also we have like all freeze, and we can check out like freeze. We can say like this the video is like already freezing. We also can do like active. Um, actually, this is the um, brief introduction about like the from panel then we just check out like how to use the control PC to control the um, VPX 500 so for the control software right now you can see where the uh, install the control software on this PC is the first step we're going to lock in the user menu actually administrator and the password is uh, empathy so we just click OK to log in when you log in the first step is going to connect the uh, software with the machine so the first step is going to click connect 
it will pop this window. As we know, they can see here we have the equipment address is actually 192.168.0.100. So we just click OK to connect it. Once we connect it, it will show like a synchronization software with the machine. And we just click OK. And you can see it's already synced with the uh, machine and also the video. So on the video right now, you can see um, we have different functions here. So we start from the device. So on the device, you can see we have the select and connect, scenic and all type of functions here for the setting. It's going to be like the screen configuration. If we, if we have like uh, to buy four videos, so we can set up from here. So it's going to be after you select it, then you just click OK here. Then we can check out. It's going to be a lot of different. So it's going to be like one by four. As we have a three by four video, so we just set it back. Three by four and click OK. Just have this one full screen. Yeah. You can see it's already set back three by four video. So this one is actually about the screen configuration. For the output map, it's all of it like uh, the front panel. So we have the the output part is not correct with the TV. So we can use this output map to set up. For open any window, the first step is going to we select like the uh, signal source first, and then we just click here. Uh, we close the full screen first. So we click, we select the source, and then we just click open a new window. So you can see here it's already open a new window here. And this one is actually about the open a new window. If we have a mode, we also can use the mode. We also can save the mode, and also factory diff and all type of functions here. And go to the switching interface. So. The switch interface we can see here we have like two different effects. The first one is cut and the second one is fade. So for fade actually we also can set up like the fading or fade out time. So we just use uh, three, three seconds. And also we can select like the or type of source for the uh, source EVL, VGL, CVS. So for the tools, it's actually many functions here. So we have the user. So we can add the new user and password here. Yeah, users and we'll type if setting here. And for the effect mode, so we have two effects, cut and fit. And now to brightness, all type of functions here. So for the signal source right now, as we interested before, so we have two, two sources. The first one is actually the, the country PC. The second one is actually the player from here. And if we're going to open a new window, besides we select the source and then click the uh, open new window, but we also can do like just use the mouse, the left click, and I will just press and drag, then release. You see here, already open new window. We also can do like the moving or adjustment. Yeah. This screen, actually this uh, video controller can scroll like open eight new window. We also, plus the uh, source, we also can rename here. Yeah. So you see the name already changed. It's about the source and the user mode is actually like if we're going to save this mode, 
then we can just press here save remote like going to be um we just see to three and it's going to be like three window just click ok now just cover it we also can do like the um, we can use the mode like we received before and over here we also have like the preview function so we have a source so right now we have two source and source one is actually the PC so and second one is actually the player and plus for the switching we also can just drag this one yeah this is about like open a new window and a switching Plus we also have like a special function here, we have the position lock, if we're going to lock this one, we just press lock, then we cannot move or adjust this window, or even we cannot close this window. So we, if we're going to adjust, the first step we're going to unlock, and then we can do like the full screen, picture in picture. Yeah, we can check on on the video so right now you can see here actually we have the uh, the uh, input output 7 and output 8 is actually not the port in the adjustment we can use the um, port output map here so we can see this the video and we got a source here actually it's quite easy we just drag this one to the to this one and the output 7 to here then we just click apply here and we can check on the big screen it's already had adjusted okay thank you so much I hope you've liked this video and this new product